Well, here it is, everybody. It's Devastator. Combiner Wars Devastator. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome, isn't it? Now, I know some of you are thinking right now, wait a minute. That looks awful small. Well, that's the uh, Gen 1 Devastator standing in front of the new Generations Combiner Wars Devastator box, which we are going to open right now. And here's the back of the box with the Gen 1 guy standing in front of it. And uh, now I'm just going to take him away so you can see the whole, the whole box. Because that box is freaking awesome, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. I mean, holy cow. It's like three feet tall. <laughs> now it's probably about two feet, two and a half at the absolute most tall foot and a half wide pretty darn pretty sizable box I'll say that here you are with the front of the box exactly as it sits coming out of you know buying it in the store I got mine online had it shipped to the house didn't want a chance never seeing one because uh, that's happened a few times and I don't want it to happen again. Never saw a Metroplex in the store, so that's what I mean, you know? I figured I'd just get them online and be 100% sure I got them. All right, we're going to break this guy open and start building Devastator. I'll take them through all the transformations, show you each robot, show you each vehicle mode, and then show you the completed Devastator Titan <laughs> All right, here we go. I am going to slice the non-art side. My stand is falling down. All right, so I've sliced this side of it, and I am going to take them out of the packaging. Cool instruction sheet, gigantic. Set that aside, and then here, here we have them. Man, those guys are huge. I did not, did not expect them to be that big. There's a card there, one card for Devastator. Total, you don't get each individual guy's card. But my first impression is, holy crap, these guys are huge. I, I mean, I know they were going to be Voyager size, but for some reason in my head, I didn't, I didn't think the cement mixer would be that long. And the dump truck is like, I mean, <laughs> he's gigantic. So I'll take each of these guys in their vehicle mode, take them out of this little cardboard packaging deal, and set them in front of you for us to look at each individually. All right. This big dump truck. A huge crane. Is it like a, what do they call that, a, a shovel? Payloader. A backhoe kind of digger. And a cement truck. All right, here's all the vehicle mode taken out of the box, just as they are, as they come. I will try to showcase each item a little bit here. First we have 
I mean, this is just what a dirt mover. I mean, a tractor of some kind. What? What do they? What the hell do they call this thing? <laughs> well, whatever this vehicle is, it's bone crusher anyway, right? <laughs> he has a little bit of movement. I guess there's some wheels under there. Yeah. So these roll. His pay his like little payloader thing, dirt mover can go up and down. So that's about it for him. That's pretty cool. Next, let's bring out Scavenger, right? So Scavenger is like a the digger, you know. Put in the dump truck. Yeah, so yes, the arm moves up and down, it can swivel, so that's kind of cool, it can go like that, you know. So it allows for a lot of range of motion here. It also has wheels very similar to the other track tractor guy. So that's, he's pretty cool. We'll move him out of the way. It will bring out Scrapper. Scrapper is, what do we call him? He's the leader, right? His big, huge wheels, they move pretty good on his own. He doesn't have a hinge down here. It's just here. Just here, and then he's got an elbow hinge there, so he can kind of bring it up and bring it down there. He's pretty cool. Let's leave him for last, shall we? Alright, we got Hook. That's a pretty, uh... Well, this does not extend. It doesn't bend. It doesn't do anything. It won't even pivot, huh? Just goes up and down, huh? Okay. He's a little bit... Feels a little bit out of whack, like his front wheels aren't touching. You see what I mean? Huh. Well, that's alright. Like I said in other videos, I don't leave him in vehicle mode anyways. He's going to be displayed as the big giant robot devastator. And last we have Mixmaster. He rolls well. All his wheels touch the ground at the same time. This does not spin. I wonder how much I wonder if that would have been possible, how much would have required. It seems like that would have been possible to make this rotate, don't you think? Just a spinner right through the middle of it? I don't know. Anyway, there's Mix Master. And lastly, we will bring out the dump truck. Long haul is here. Well, his front wheels. Well, <laughs> let's see if there's any way we can adjust this so that... Alright, so both wheels touch now. And now, alright, yeah, there we go. So that's not bad. His, uh... He does not have a dumping action. So he is just a dump truck to drive around with and have fun hauling stuff around and what this guy picks up, dump. Yeah, right. All right, we'll get to transforming each one individually here. All right, the first guy we're gonna do is Hook. So what, what you wanna do is sort of like, you can kind of get an impression of how he's gonna be by, by just standing him up, you know. Um, the arms are gonna come out just like this. 
got that there. This whole back end can kind of pivot on this double joint. I don't know if you can see that inside there, but there's a double joint. And it will come just up a little bit out of the way, I think. His legs come down. Let me see here. I think they're they are also yeah. There's a so there's a peg here. You got to separate this peg. That's what's going on. That is a big peg. <laughs> and then these double fold. There's a joint, again, can you see that? There's another double joint in there, so they come down and go like so. And that's the foot there. This waist has to stay clipped in. And next we'll do this leg. Bring it down. Bring it into the snappy doos. Why did that one work so much better than the other one? Yeah. My foot broke off! Ah. <laughs> Not really. He's fine. Don't worry about him. Wow. How come he doesn't work the same way as the other guy? Maybe I got his bend a little bit wrong. There we go. All right, so there's the legs. There's that. And now we just have to get this situated just right. How the heck is that supposed to go? Trying to make it so he's not standing on his um Oh, his hands have to flip out. Duh. <laughs> that makes him look a little bit better, more like a real robot, right? Yeah, he's not supposed to be um resting on that third leg back there, but I guess that's kinda how he's gonna go for now. Hook in robot mode. He's got some pretty good articulation. I mean, he can kind of move his arms up and down like that. So he can bend a little bit. His feet, they do swivel. So you can kind of do some sort of dynamic poses with him. Rah! His head does turn. It's not a bad figure overall, you know? Yeah, he's all right. Now we're going to do long haul! Okay. <laughs> this behemoth. So, kind of like that. The um, You can see parts of Devastator's body right in there, can't you? So he is going to be the waist. So this part pulls up, frees up this entire canopy and uh, bed the dump part of the dump truck, right? <laughs> and the headquarters, the uh, driver's area, all comes out there, and then you want to pull the arms out. Hello, arms. You can see his fists right there. And 
and then we're going to want to break apart the uh, back here and the front will fold back up over to make his chest all right and then what we want to do is spin these around because this is going to be not his waist this is his waist all right the head might be easier to pop out before we put this down I'm not sure yeah there we go so we'll pop the head up before we put those down there's the arms and now the legs basically let's see he's got feet down here I think they just come out from the side here right and fold all the way down you see like that to become his feet I think that's literally all they do and that's him and because of that he's got some foot swivel He's very stocky, like Incredible Hulkish, you know. Uh, her. <laughs> wow. I I think that's really him. Yeah. He is incredibly stocky, like a big Incredible Hulk guy. Well, there you have it. There's Long Haul for you. He's pretty stocky. He has some, like, foot swivel there. I mean, he can be sort of poseable, but not... I kind of feel like this is almost like the... Yeah, well, he has a robot mode. There you go. But he really is just like the Incredible Hulk. Hello, I'm... Or I'm, uh, maybe I'm Minimus Anbus in Hulkbuster armor, <laughs> made by the Decepticons, right? Well, there you have it. Long haul. Let's move on. Next, we have Scavenger. Push this back, push this down. Bring his legs out this thing comes down like that. So you basically have this situation here with this coming in the back. Then we're going to let's see, we're going to flip these around so they come in like that and they tab into these tabs. So that will flip around and tab in. I think this stays back then his hands are like hidden inside here so we're going to bring out his hands so now we basically got his arms coming up like so. So now we basically got his arms, if you want to look at it that way, just like that, right? So his head must be up in here, yep. Close that back up. And now for the body part. Let's see here. This has to, there's a pop there, a pin, see that? So that has to come up. These are going to be his legs, but this is going to be his waist. So you want to bring that all the way up and it clips in there. And these come down and then you're going to break this on this joint here. And these, very similar to some of the Armada figures, if you remember those with their feet. Stand him back 
cup. Just got some knee joints there. He's not too bad. Got some head movement. So there you have Scavenger. He's not so bad. He's kind of loose in the hip joints a little bit. Seems to be weighted towards the back because of that. But um, he's not too bad. Let's see if I can put him in one of my famous oh, poses. <laughs> he wants to be like spread his legs out more than I want him to. <laughs> All right, so there's Scavenger. Next up, we have Bone Crusher. All right, Bone Crusher. Just pull out the legs. You know, those are going to be the legs again, just like the other guy. And. We're going to kind of, I guess, fold them down out of the way there. Let me see here. How can they go? Is it like that? And then these clip together. These guys have clips here, and I'm thinking that's how they have to go. I'm just having difficulty getting them to actually clip and stay together. If that was truly the intention. Anyway, feet come down, this is his knee joint, you know, same as the other guy. We'll figure out how those legs glue together later. Foot, knee joint, we got it. All right. We got this whole thing opened up here. Whole thing opened up here like this. take this part out and these will form the arms. Do you see the arms coming out of here? These are forming dude's arms. His head. Where's his head? Is his head just in here? Whoa. The shovel just came off of the dirt mover. Darn it, this is a hard one to get back on.
There's his head. Okay. I get it now. All right, so this whole little pivot thing, you got to do it this way. Do it like that. And then these will tab in to these tabs on the back. So he's got to go eh, like that. There you go. Did you get that? <clears throat> so the back, you pop the head out. This comes down, and then these pins go right into there. And you kind of got to finagle it and clip. It goes right in. And then we want to... Is that really him? I guess... No, that's not really how he goes. I mean, that could be one version of him, right? Alright, there you have it. Bone Crusher. Ah! He was doing the Van Damme. You know, he can pivot his feet, he can stand in a whole variety of poses. Ooga, booga, ooga, ooga, booga. You know, all kinds of crazy. Yeah, woo -hoo. Us tread welders know how to party! Woohoo! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Scrapper. Here we are, the leader. Put this way up, put this down. Kind of gotta, I guess, get it sort of like that or so. And then you stand him up. I mean, you can almost see it right there, right? His arms are just right there. His hands flip out. Weep. Weep. His legs obviously come down. There's his feet. You just flip out from there. Same thing with the legs here. They just have this hinge. We gotta pop them apart from their clip there, but then they just go right down into here. You will see a peg and it goes in there. Then the feet can go right up on there. Bam, bam. Head comes up. Much like the Gen 1 version. His arms have swivel, I guess, but they don't actually bend. The knees can bend. And we have some little bit of hinge on the feet. So he can. Able to do some jumping jacks. <laughs> See if he can. Uh... His arms don't have any bends. They can pivot. But you can't really bend them too much. It's okay. It's a lot like the original. It's better than the original, you know. So there you have it, Scrapper. And lastly, we got Mixmaster! Basically, if you lift him up, you can see the whole 
robot right there. His arms, his head. So his arms come out just from the side here. And they have elbows. His head, so this part here, you just pop it right back. His head is actually inside, so like that, and then you can put it right back up on top. And it moves inside there. You can actually turn his head. Yay. And then his legs, so these pop apart. Should just pop right apart here. Yeah, there they go. This comes down. So this pops down, this comes apart, and then he bends down to make the these are the feet. He's got pivots on his feet so that he can stand at an angle like that. You can kind of get him in some pretty cool poses. Mixmaster. So there you have it, Mixmaster. So here you have it, all six Constructicons in their robot forms. And they are all quite, quite big, good size figures. We've brought our Gen 1 friend out here. So you can see that the Voyager size figures are just about as tall as the original Gen 1 all put together. So there you have it. <laughs> and you can also see that the color it's not that far off. I mean it blends pretty well doesn't it? I guess it's a little bit, they're a little bit brighter than the originals. So now we'll take the Constructicons and we'll form Devastator. According to the instructions, the best way to do this is to start with um, long haul in robot mode and everyone else in their vehicle modes. So I have gone ahead and transformed them to the proper modes to make it simplest. Uh, the simplest way to get them into Devastator mode. So here we go. Alright, Long Haul is going to form the body. Flip this up so that you can work with it. His head can go down, the arms just can go up. The hands, I mean, you know, that doesn't matter. You want to flip the whole waist all the way around so that you got his Devastator waste. These I think can just go like that. This can go back down. Alright, you want to pull the feet back up around and pull these pieces down so that they're straight. So fold the foot back up inside and pull this piece around so that it's like that. And this is basically Devastator's, will it stand up? Look at that. Waste. Alright, now we'll do the feet. Basically pull this forward. His arms come down 
This is a lot like Gen 1. Arms come down, this comes down to form a foot. Then you want to bring the back legs. Let me see here. Do they just go up like that? And then we bring these up like this. Is that how it works? There we go. I think it goes like this, right? And then these come down. Put that over there. Well, that'll be this foot. Let's see. All right. Now mix master. Mix master. Basically, this is going to form the foot part. You want to get the arms out of the way. So just open them up because you need to pop him out from there. Pull his feet apart just like you did before. Lift up his foot toes. Pull these out. These will form the clips that you'll need to clip his legs to the body. And then you can put these back together. Pin this back together. Clip it back in. And that's going to form the top. And now you want to put the arms back where they belong to form the back of the feet. You probably want to turn these down just so that you have an ankle joint. And that will form the other All right, now from this stage, what we're going to do is Devastator's legs will clip in to these portions back here. So what happens is this whole menagerie of little clips and slots and everything are going to fit in with all this. There we go. That makes more sense. All right, so I don't know if you can see it, but there are these slots here, and these are going to go in those slots. The strangest thing is there's also there's also this. You need to slide that into that space there. So I'm gonna try. Let's see this weird. This is a little bit tricky to get lined up the first time. Basically, because of that. And once I get this together, I don't ever want to take it apart again. Okay, I think that does it. <laughs> One foot is on. And now he's already too big to fit in the camera, right? All right, now the second leg, it's similar thing. It goes in a slot there, a slot there, a slot there. And then something will slide into this little piece here. And that all connects with this. All right, so we're going to put on the second leg. And he just goes right in those same little 
pivot. You got to just line up every single one of those pegs basically at the same time. Pop, pop, pop. There's like four or five pops. And there we have it. He's bigger than the <laughs> he's bigger than the field of vision in the camera. Let me change let me change uh go for a wider angle here. So now we'll do the arms. There's Devastator with his both of his legs. It's quite impressive, even as he is right there. I mean I can't wait to see the rest of him. Cause he's already gigantic. I mean <laughs> Gen 1 again. <laughs> Doesn't even come to his waist. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do the arms, which are going to be these guys. So, firstly, we're going to, you know, put this all the way back. And all you really need to do is get this out a little bit so that you can pull out the um, this whole arm portion that we're going to use. Okay, there we go. I guess it goes like that. And then these can come back in, I think. And this, I believe, becomes the joint for the hand. Which... Let's see, this is actually, yeah, this arm, so what we're going to do is we got this handy, this is actually the hand, pretty cool, uh, can have a grip there, this gun is pretty awesome, goes right in his hand, and this will clip in, there's a hole right there, and a peg, and it just goes right together, like so. That probably looks better going that way, right? Huh. Everything's falling apart on me. And then this goes, well, let's see. It actually connects to the head part, so we'll, <laughs> we'll do that in a second. All right, this guy, he's equally as simple. Just pull these apart a little bit to get this free. Flip this all the way out. That becomes the arm joint, and then you can put the legs back in somehow, you know, however you want it, however it makes sense. This is going to be the socket for the arm joint. And this is the actual arm itself. So I'll put it like that so we can put the other hand on there. Again, that peg goes in that circle. And we have Devastator's other arm. Devastator. Now I'll bring in Hook. Basically want to keep this out of the way there. I'm going to move it over, I guess. And then I'm going to move these so they are down and out of the way. Move this down and out of the way. And then we should be able to pivot this. Here we go. Pivot this. be a way to pivot. Come on. Focus 
the head's going to come up right like that. So this should be able to just... There's a clip here and it's not letting me get it free. I'm sure it's... There it goes. Alright, finally. Okay. There are two pegs on the top here. You push them down into the head part. There they go. A couple tabs hold it all together. That will form the top of Devastator there. Uh, I see this comes around to be the bottom because that's going to go in there. And then this piece is going to come out to go clip in there. So it's going to go like that. Okay. I'll form the head. So if you look at the top of this guy, there's a square piece and a circular piece to go in with those clips. Okay, I've just cut to that being done. You know, the whole owl form the head thing just kind of happened. But I showed you where those things clip in. I just had to do it off camera because it was a little bit tough to get it exactly right. And I still might not have it perfect. But one thing I want to show you is that on the sides here, these things flip out. All right, and there was one on that side as well. And what those are for is for these holes here that are on each arm. And they clip right in. So there's Devastator as he stands right now. Put the gun back in his hand. And then what else we got is one more accessory, the chest plate. And that goes, it's going to go right on the front here. And it looks like there are clips up here which will clip into there. A clip here which will clip into there. It's got a big long peg, which I imagine just will end up going through the center somehow. And then two other small pegs which look like they line up right there. Um, I'm probably going to have to do this off camera to get it right and I'll just bring them right back. So there you have it mates, it's uh, Devastator. Holy cow, he is something else. I cannot believe how big and how awesome this figure really is. I can't get over it. Here's our Gen 1 friend. Stand it up next to Devastator. Notice how he doesn't have this weapon anymore. Huh. But I mean, boy, he looks pretty identical, right? I mean, look at that cement truck over there, we got the payloader, same waist area, I mean, it's got the same arms, I mean, they just did a fantastic job, they made him per so perfect, so perfect, but he's like twice as tall as the original. Here he is next to Combiner Wars Superion. And here's here's Devastator with just some pretty cool figures. Starscream and Rat Trap, his little minion. 
and uh, up against Springer and RC, the greatest pair to ever walk Cybertron. Those two are such cool figures, aren't they? Just a few comparison shots for you with various figures. And here's Devastator about to put the beat down on the Dragon Megazord. Gonna pat Lino on the head. Nice kitty. Oh. I am Lino. Gonna pat Lino on the head. And now you face the cutest of Borg. It's no contest. I don't think this guy will be assimilated. I better get out of here. Du -du -du. Number one. This will not be assimilated. I'm <laughs> just crazy, aren't I? And this is Devastator with a power droid. Gonk. <laughs> and here's Devastator attacking Castle Grayskull. No! Sorceress, what will we do? <laughs> so there you have them. Transformers, Combiner Wars, Devastator, Titan class. Absolutely huge and absolutely wonderful. I want to do a quick measurement. He is, yeah, right about that 18 inch mark. Look at that. Now, where am I going to put him? The apartment's already full and I don't have anything, I don't have any display case shelves that are 18 inches tall. <laughs> We will have to find a new, we are going to have to get a new display case for this guy. Maybe a freestanding thing in the center of the living room, right? He'll be a, a special display. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching another super awesome Geek Show unboxing video and somewhat transformation. Hopefully that helps if you're having trouble with yours. They're not that difficult to really maneuver and get into different modes. You can find us on Twitter, that's the best thing to keep in touch with us on. We're pretty much tweeting every day at Awesome Geek Show. We're on Facebook at Super Awesome Geek Show. We're on Patreon, P A T R E O N slash Super Awesome Geek Show. That's where you can donate to help us out if you'd like. Don't have to, of course, but anything that people do donate is much appreciated. Helps keep us going. Because we also make a big podcast that's been going for over a year, year and a half now. Uh, we're chugging along into our second year. Had some great guests on recently, so you'll have to check that out. We have, we have a lot of guests with creators. We had like Livio Raimondelli from the Combiner Wars on once. For Works for IDW, does a lot of the artwork for Transformers Comics. Did a lot of the stuff for Combiner Wars and helped solidify the look of a lot of these guys. And he's been on our show. It was really a thrill to talk to him. So if you are into Transformers, you might want to check out that episode. As well as many others, we have roundtables where we just geek out about a topic. And we also, of course, like as I said, do interviews with a lot of the creators and film stars, actors, various people that we get, authors, people who do graphic novels, comic books, a lot of game people lately. We've had a lot of game designers on. So you might want to check all that out if you're into that stuff. <clears throat> Super Awesome Geek Show. Find it on iTunes. You can go right to superawesomegeekshow.com. And again, like I said, the best place to keep in touch with us is on Twitter, at Awesome Geek Show. All right. Thanks a lot for watching another one of our YouTube unboxing videos. I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show and creator of these wonderful awful videos. <laughs> Alright, keep it geeky out there everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.